Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in the Kia eSoul and in this video we're gonna test the headlights. So, um, it's actually four minutes past 11 now and we still have some... Oh, she oh, is a bit... Haven't uh, adjusted the camera. Uh, I think there-ish we good, right? Yeah, all right, let's go. So we're gonna test the headlights. On this Kia eSoul, it has just the uh, standard uh, dummy headlights, LED, no uh, turning. Let me just check here. Do we turn? Oh, high beam. Oh, wow. Look. <laughs> okay, but it's still dark in the woods here. That's what we're going to test. Let's just hammer it. High beam on. Yeah, how useful is this test? Then <laughs> now we'll see. We'll see. It should be dark enough in the woods. Okay, high beam off. I just have to do it a manual. I mean, there's there's manual. I mean, automatic head uh, lights, whatever. But we don't use it. We just use the manual stuff. So um, okay, over here we see the the headlight street lights. I mean, and then okay, yeah, this. <laughs> It's going to be slightly harder to test headlights nowadays. I guess I have to start around midnight, but okay. Let's see, here we go, here we go. Okay. Boom. All right, all right. Yeah, it's still, uh, I mean, if I turn it off, you still see that it's quite dark. So we, uh, it's still a somewhat valid test. So how is it spread? Uh, okay, and twist the road like this. Oh, that's not good. That's not good spread. Uh, yeah, you don't see much outside of the the tiny uh, cone in the front here. You see, and then if you go on, on down here, right? How is this one? Uh, well, the, the the high beam gives a little bit only. Yeah. So if there was a moose by the road, you wouldn't see it until it's almost too late. So wait, have I not adjusted it correctly? Still? Let me just check here. No, no, I think that's fine, that's fine, okay. It's always hard to adjust it. Maybe I need like a reference, but okay, let me see. Now let's try in the in the forest here. Oh, I have uh, studless winter tires. I think this is Nook and Hakablita R3. But, all right, okay, how is this one? Spread in the woods. Spread them, spread them. Okay, you see, low beam, you see nothing. High beam? Uh, well, there's a dot in the middle. I mean, it shines semi-high, but... Uh, let me get the feel here. But it's very concentrated towards the window, you see. You want to have more spread to the sides, which this car doesn't give. Is it like here? Yeah. So it's more like American highway-oriented. Uh, so... Um, it's not that great. I guess if you buy an ESO, just get lead bar. Then you'll be good. So no adaptive stuff, no... Uh, I don't think we even have cornering lights. See how it goes in the curves there. Oh, 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 oh. And watch out for the fox and the hedgehog. They're still living here. Hopefully, they haven't been hit by any cars. So let me see. We should do that farm test. Yeah, a mandatory farm inspection. Oh, it's a quick little bugger. Okay, 50 zone. Yeah, you see, oh, that's a nice sunset, right? So it's 11 now. Uh, I guess if I come here at midnight, it should be completely dark. Well, that's, I guess that's the advantage of uh, around here, living in Oslo. Because if I live in Bode or Finnmark, then it would be impossible to test headlights at, uh, in the summer. Like from from May, or actually, yeah, from roughly May until uh, September, then no headlight test. <laughs> okay, let me see. Let me do the farm inspection. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you see, poor spread. Uh, just to give you, I'm going to turn it on and off. They, those guys on the farm, they don't even see me. They'll be like, huh, what is that, a flashlight? <laughs> Uh, uh, we see now. Let me see. How, how is the turning circle then? Ah, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a small car. See, huh? Uh, okay. All right. Now let's go the other way around. So it's uh, somewhat important to go this direction because now you see we don't have that light. There is some clouds also towards Oslo. So now we're heading south. 
ish uh, let's see how it performs then so I guess yeah I mean this is uh, probably the same tech they have in uh, Kona right in Eniro and what else uh, so it would be interesting to try the new uh, uh, oh the new uh, well uh, now they call it the Nero EV see how those headlights are mm. But I wasn't too impressed of uh, EV6 and the Ionic 5. So I guess the Korean cars, they still have a long way to match the Germans and the American cars. I mean, um, um, Tesla, yeah. Because actually the Mach-E was also not too impressive. Why, why, why am I doing here, driving so slow? So they are not that impressive, uh, but uh, yeah. So I guess they, if they care, they can, and also the Swedes, of course, let's not forget the Swedes. They have really good headlights. These ones, yeah. Um, and today, actually, yeah, today now with this kind of weather, this dry weather, we, we actually see okay, good vision. But if it will be raining, or especially during fall, then everything just looks so dark and the forest and the roads and everything just absorbs all the light. So, yeah, this is uh, not good. If I would rank it, give it uh, points from 1 to 10, uh, I think I would give it uh, 6, maybe. Yeah, around 6, probably. Yeah, and also, you can hear it's a, it's a Korean car, Asian car. It tends to beep at you. So here you see nothing until you are here, and then there is a moose in front of you, and then BAM! Yeah, kaboom! So, um, and also here, if you want to go faster on the curves here, you see, you see nothing on the right side there. Well, I see something, at least you see something. At least if you eat carrots and you have good night vision, then no problem. But for uh, old people like me, <laughs> then uh, you want to slap that lead bar on it, and then you're good. So, um, um, yeah. So uh, let's see now, uh, what are they lacking? Well, actually, no, wait, 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 wait. maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe the, the Kia EV6, does it have some kind of some kind of adaptive shit? Uh, but when I tried it in the press car, there was nothing. What, what, was it something like that? Hmm, don't remember. But OK, anyway, just uh, lurk around here a little bit. I'm going to finish the lap. So just showing you guys. See, we start getting a little bit of green now. So that's good. Very refreshing that we finally get some summer here. Feels like winter has been lasting way too long. So, um, I don't know what you guys think, but um, yeah, you know what's funny? Every time I test bad headlights uh, in Tesla, they'd be like, oh, Tesla is shit, it's shit headlights. But every time I test bad headlights in other brands like, like Hyundai, the Ionic 5, and the EV6 or other brands, they'd be like, the headlights are not properly adjusted. <laughs> okay, anyway, I think that's gonna be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.